Like most people who've watched the entire Amazon Fallout series, I've been going back and playing all of the old Fallout games, including Fallout 4. Now, Fallout 4 doesn't hold a candle to Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas, but it's still a good game, albeit one where Bethesda made a number of bad decisions that have affected the future of the series, such as allowing the protagonist to speak, relying on those terrible base building mechanics, and building a world that lacks the loneliness and dread of its predecessors. These decisions have left fans with a sour taste in their mouths that has yet to subside when it comes to Fallout 4. But it isn't a bad game. It, it just isn't what a lot of us wanted it to be. Nor does it advance the Bethesda formula nearly enough to feel like a true step forward. Although after Starfield, it's hard to say if anything could actually advance the Bethesda formula at this point. But at the top of the list of Fallout 4's crimes is what it did to its ghouls. Now, if you haven't watched the Fallout series or played a Fallout game, a ghoul is a human being that has either been subject to obscene amounts of radiation, or they were in direct contact with the atomic bombs as they fell, and they've lived to tell the tale. As a result of being exposed to that kind of radiation, they're granted extended lifespans, but their skin also starts to peel away, and it's only a matter of time until they turn feral. And as a ghoul enters the feral stages, their memories fade away, their speech becomes slurred, and they soon resemble nothing more than a regular aggressive zombie. You can even see this in the TV show as well, as Cooper has to rely on a continuous stream of drugs to prevent himself from going feral. Feral ghouls are terrifying creatures in Fallout 3 and New Vegas. Encountering a horde of them can be a horrifying nightmare. Individually, taking one out is trivial, but a dozen ghouls biting at your heels? I don't want to mess with that. And when they're more powerful or imbued with lethal doses of radiation, these brief fights transform into arduous battles. Now compare those encounters to those in Fallout 4 and all the personality is lost. Ghouls are still mindless victims of radiation with a desire to kill. But instead of exaggerated corpses riddled with bleak burns and wrinkles, they're gray, rag-covered specters who just aren't as scary. Fallout 4 will still throw different variants at you, but whenever you encounter feral ghouls in this game, kind of just roll your eyes at them and accept that you're about to waste loads of ammo on enemies that are just not worth it. It's the same thing with the raiders in the fourth installment. There's something so disappointingly sterile about their visual design that fits too snugly into the more saturated open world. In a post-Fallout 4 world, ghouls just aren't scary anymore. And in a universe where they are continually mocked and killed without consequence, that's a problem. In fact, we haven't talked about the still-conscious ghouls in Fallout 4 who speak to you throughout the campaign, which are equally sanitized in their appearance. When you first encounter a ghoul in Fallout 3, it's kind of shocking. The camera forces you up close and personal with them during dialogue, and each one you encounter still deals with peeling skin, a rotting voice, and a place in this destroyed world where they are doomed to prejudice. Most sentient ghouls are used to being treated like dirt. Even 200 years since the bombs fell, most ghouls just accept that this is how life is gonna be. Other Fallout games like New Vegas build on this philosophy, but Fallout 4 doesn't do nearly enough with it. Now it's possible that maybe this is what they intended. Maybe ghouls have become more normalized in society in Fallout 4, or more likely, having a spoken protagonist in the game made Bethesda less willing to dish out death threats to random NPCs. Much like their feral counterpart, Regular ghouls they don't look as gross as they used to. They're clean and presentable, and the Amazon show builds upon this with Walton Goggins' cowboy ghoul being a character that the fandom is still thirsting over. Ghouls used to be hard to look at, but those with a kind heart could see beyond the aesthetics and get to know the person beneath it all. They used to be scary and meaningful in the Fallout universe, and now, I don't know, they're sexy. They're just part of the Fallout aesthetic now, like Nuka-Cola, Pip-Boys, or a Mr. Handy, and I kinda wish they meant more. 